Oh, dude, I didn't shave today. I feel so gross. Manage a snag is space 80. Can't wait for it to arrive. It's a good keyboard. I have another client we need to build soon too. Hey Alex, was wondering what lens you use for your photo work? Um, it's all the way over there. I use here, I'll just grab it. This is what I use here, macro lens. 80 mil, it's a 2.8. It's super shit, uh, shit, I was say, super crisp. Um, but if you want a good lens and you're using Fuji, just use the stock kit lens. The kit lens that Fuji has is insane. It's honestly one of the better lenses that's a kit lens on the market, I think. Um, but I've been using that for photos too, and you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. The, the macro has like a bit more sharpness to it, but th that'd be really the only thing it, it has compared. Oh, baby. I'm so excited for this. I am legit so excited to build this right now. All right, little single card, Kuhaku. Uh, this is actually a really nice touch. This like little verification card. It looks cool. The fact that it's in a card protector too makes me happy. Um, let's move this out of the way too. That's the bear. The one up top's the bear, yeah. The other day I was tying my shoe. And let me tell you, I started questioning my life. I'm like, is this actually how you tie shoes? Oh, this is a nice gray. Like I said, I've been super into grays. Oh, I like it with this color on the bottom. Ooh, I like this a lot. That looks good. Oh man. That is a nice color combination. That is absolutely stunning. This has a bit of a hint of blue compared to this gray, which is kind of nice. It kind of accents that, that copper, but oh baby. Dude, that looks sick. Can you zoom in on the design? Yeah. So nice. Happy sweet Ecstasy. 16. Oh, baby. Thank you so much for 16 and being here, bro. Hopefully you're having a good day today. Dude, that looks really good. I don't know how crispy this is coming up on Twitch. Is it super crispy? I'm trying to keep it steady so my hands don't shake. But my goodness, that looks sweet, dude. Oh man, that looks good. Okay, that, that is, this is such a nice color combination, dude. Like, I am actually really, really into this. What a beautiful color combo. Beautiful, beautiful color combo, dude. Uh, what plate were you using? <laughs> aluminum chat, we're using aluminum. The angles look so, it is, it looks really good. I have to admit, this is pretty damn hot. So this is the piece of acrylic here that we're gonna put on top of this later. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, Koi normally has spots, yeah. Kohaku booty, so beautiful. I get excited over stickers. Oh, they're all different colors. Oh, that's cute. Oh, we got the aluminum plate here too, chat. Ooh. This is gonna look sweet. Once we put this all together, I am like pumped up, dude. Look at this, this is gonna be so beautiful. We're just gonna test all our stabs and then tune them. Actually sound pretty good, actually. Do I even need to tune these? Is that the Bear 65? It is, and it's being taken off my desk just so I can st do stuff here. Look how nice it turned out though. This keycap set's beautiful for it. It's so good. Remember guys? Don't go broke for keyboards, please and thank you. If you can't afford to buy the keyboard three times over, then don't buy it. If you're debating whether to eat for a month or buy a keyboard for the month, don't buy it. If you are sitting there crunching numbers to see if you can afford everything for a month, you probably don't need it. I don't wanna see anyone go like, you know, missing things that they want, but I also would prefer if you guys eat food and, you know, live happy lives. My worst job experience ever, I, I was there for two or three days. All right, I was a kid, like a, t like a teenager. It was for a company that sold leather goods in a mall. It was one of my, my second job ever, all right? Second ever job. I had no money. I was a teenager with no money, all right? They made us like part of the agreement and it was hard to get a job at the time because everyone was trying to get these like retail jobs, it was popular. 
part of the agreement was you had to buy your own uniform. You would not be reimbursed. You would be given a discount, which, by the way, is bullshit if, if you ever have to work for a company like this. I had to buy my own uniform. It was not cheap. I spent money on the uniform. That was the only way to start this position. Couldn't even figure out if I liked it or not. Um, had to go. Had to do this. Had to buy this. This bullshit uniform. And I started... One of the managers was like, Alex, go tag these things over here. Because there was two managers. So I went and started tagging these things. The other manager comes up to me. He's like, hey, Alex, uh, can you actually stop tagging this and go to the back and do counts for this? And I was like, well, hey, the other manager told me to do tags. Like, and I'm not done this yet. She was like, don't worry about what the other manager says. This is more important right now. Go do that. So I did the other thing. My day ended. This is like my first day on the job. Day ended, dude. Said, hey, guys, like, I'm done. What else? Like, you know, I did half of this, half of that. Like, I didn't get to finish both. The managers weren't there at the end of the day. Everyone's, like, went home. The team lead or whatever was, like, just go home. Chat, let me tell you. The next day, the managers both sat me down. was like, why didn't you finish my job? It was individually. Like, they sat me down individually. The first manager's like, why didn't you do mine over hers? And then the second manager's like, why didn't you do hers over mine? Or why did you do that? And I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't even know what's going on here. It's my fucking second day. They wrote me up. Second day, I left the same. I left the same, uh, same afternoon. I just didn't care enough. I, I needed the money. But I just didn't care enough. I didn't, I didn't feel like being in, 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 in that power struggle between two people. Two day write up. Your uniform not even paid off. So. Just so you guys have a sense of what how much the uniform was, the uniform ended up being almost three or four hundred dollars after tax. It takes me about 30 days to get out of the military mindset when I come uh, back from a mission. Dude, I can't imagine this is because it's not instant, right? It never is instant. And I'm sure if it was, there'd be like not consequences to being instant, but it'd probably feel kind of weird. The back is so pretty. Even this looks, does this not look really cool? Is it just me? I'm kind of like blown away by how cool this just looks. I low key don't even want to put the top on. <laughs> but they should make the back piece in a way. I need, I need to take this off and put the acrylic in still, but that looks amazing. Okay, I need to actually unscrew this to get the acrylic in. My company just hired a third party company in India and forced current employees to train them or else they would not receive severance when laid off. To me, whenever I'm forced to train someone, I always get this weird eerie feeling that I'm being fired. And it's not a fun feeling, dude. I love this board. I ended up training my key cult for a, for a bow or two in black with brass, uh, but this is my second choice. It's pretty, it's so nice. Uh, any recommendations for switches with softer bottom outs? Ooh. You know, I would, okay, I, you're probably so sick of me saying this chat, but roses. Roses have a pretty soft bottom out. Other than that, silent switches have a soft bottom out because of like the gasket in some of them. But I would say roses aren't super heavy feeling. That, or maybe even try a different spring. Maybe a progressive spring or something would work really well for you. Don't buy long pole. Yeah, long poles are definitely not the way to go there. Okay, the dust is unfortunate, but it's always gonna have a little bit of dust. Perhaps that's my only critique of this. Maybe some better way that dust wouldn't sneak in behind the acrylic pane. But I mean, are you really gonna notice it all that much? I'm unsure. I'm unsure how much you would notice it. I also think that there's definitely some lines on the acrylic. I'll have to go in and clean it just because of the adhesive, this like little protective adhesive thing on it. So there's some lines on it, which doesn't look the best, but you don't necessarily need this on it either. Probably a good cleaning. You would probably have to really clean this really well. It's because I think glass is a little easier to clean than acrylic. I am, acrylic's like, 
magnetic, I swear to God, for dust. It looks nice even without the acrylic, yeah. Okay, I was reading about someone who only used bottom gaskets in their Kohaku, and I wonder how that so actually nice. sounds and feels. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, but just let me do this for a hot second, chat. Does that even work, really? Can I even do that? This is my fave chat of any streamer. We can go off topic and just talk about life or whatever, and then go back to keyboards. Dude, I really appreciate us doing that, by the way. I don't know if I've ever voiced that to you guys, but I like the fact that you guys allow me to like literally talk about whatever. We talk about something food for like 40 minutes and then we swap back to keyboards and do keyboard stuff and then go to like, I don't know, jobs or something and we all just chill and vibe. It literally feels like, okay, the best way to put this, I was actually talking to, believe it or not, my mom and dad about this because they tuned into my stream and said my stream was very wholesome. Um, it kind of feels like we're old friends sitting down for dinner. That's that's literally how I described it because that's what it kind of feels like. You know when everyone just kind of hangs out, we're all just catching up? That's kind of how it feels like. Food will always be poggers? Yeah, I agree. I feel the same way. Yeah, me too. Honestly, it's crazy. You think you'll do keyboards until retirement? Um, I don't know. Maybe if there's like another really cool hobby that presents itself and we're all kind of interested in it, then for sure. Right now, I'm still very much enjoying keyboards. I really like doing it. I like doing it for other people, especially. So the commission part's really fun to me. This does have a little bit of shifting on the inside. My camera's shifting a little bit as I do that, but. Uh, will you ever switch away from keyboards? I might do some video games here and there, but I don't think I'll ever switch away from keyboards. Sometimes I catch myself being sus in the YouTube videos. I love watching the YouTube videos and see what actually makes it there. Whatever Manoli picks. It's kind of funny. Right now I'm just playing Apex, but I don't know, man. Apex sometimes tilts. The tilting on Apex is too much sometimes. This color is so pretty. Dude, that looks so good though. So what I really like about the acrylic is it kind of looks like a pond. Three you know? months down. Hope you're having a nice day, Alex. Uh, this will be my own, yes. Singa sent it out for me to review, to be transparent. I think, I can't remember. I think they said I can keep this one here. So these are the switches we use today. These are peach blooms, just recolors of the graphite gold. So they are a long pull switch. I don't think they're as long as like the pole's not as long as some of the other ones, but we still love it anyways. Uh, very pretty colors. So they are in here today. We are using an aluminum plate. Here is the Kohaku in the gray color. It has a bit of a blue tint to it. Uh, overall, the shape of the Kohaku is really pretty too. The finish is insanely good. I think this pairs really well with the copper. I also love this acrylic piece in the back. Again, I wish this might have been a different material just because again, acrylic does like attract a lot of dust, which is unfortunate. Um, so do I do dislike that, but I like the acrylic. It's a cool combination of something different on a keyboard. It almost makes like the koi fish look like it's in a pond too. So very pretty. I like the back design as well. Very, very sweet. Stop tempting us and get on with it. Dude, you guys want to hear this, huh? Well, fine, fine. We'll just. We'll just move the mic down. All right, the mic is now pointed at the keyboard, just for you guys to understand. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Space bar is hitting different, dude. The space bar is probably one of the cleanest space bars I've had used to date. The backspace is nice too. Yeah, the alphas are a little thinner. And that might be just because of the composite of the, the thing here. I don't mind it though, because I think the the alphas, while they're a little bit lighter in sound, not thin, light, it's made up by the mods. Look at that backspace too. The enter is nice. It's a bit more subtle. Ooh! 
That bottom row sounds fucking good. Remember, these are not the, I don't think these are the longest long pull switches I've tried. I think if you were to try like a tungsten or something with a longer pull, you'd get more of that like signature pop, but. So nice. I like this, this is ideal for me. You know why this is ideal is because I already own a board that sounds like really heavy on the alphas. I think they sound good regardless. Okay, that spacebar is hitting diff. Again, super soft typing feel too. Bust out the key cards. See the difference between a tungsten? These are both aluminum plates though. And again, different, different, obviously different fucking case and stuff, but. No, dude, I like this space bar. This has a bit more base to it, even though this is an ABS keycap. No, this space bar. Space bar battle? Backspace on this wins. Dude, Kohaku wins in my opinion. Kohaku wins. Sorry, chat. Kohaku wins here. I know it's just a lot. There's a lot of different things between the two. Let's just be 100% honest. But just just for the sake of some fun, we took them both out. This might be the best space bar I've ever tried. Not gonna lie. Like this actually might be the best space bar I've ever tried on a keyboard. A little bit of a bigger forehead on the key called thinner sides. So this has a more of a uniform bezel. This doesn't. Um, sidewise, this has a little bit of a extra little piece here on the back. This is more of your standard wedge on the Kohaku. Backwise, really up to you whether which one you like. Key cult has its you know signature key cult back there. Mine's patina, or else this would just be a normal brass weight. Both are nice. We've been on a great uh, build hot streak. We kind of have, dude. Most excellent indeed, yeah. Everyone next week wins Kohaku giveaway. Do you guys like Kohaku spacebar? Or do you guys like Moon Tower spacebar more? I don't know, man. They're both pretty good. Kohaku does have like a certain something to it. <sighs> They're both really good, dude. I can't really pick one. To be honest though, like the Kohaku and the Moon Tower share that same like lighter alphas, but it's really relying on the space bar to make a lot of noise. So, dude, I think this turned out so good. I even like this keycap set on it. It looks good. Noir was a good pick. But bye, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming and enjoy tofu types. Love you guys. Good night, everybody.